Hi, I'm Lee Iridium. Hope you're doing all right today. It's reaction time. So I've been sent this by the band, actually. Um, band called Blue Mountain and a song called Scars for Life. So this came out last year. So um, maybe another one I missed. I'm getting a bit upset about if I like this. <laughs> I get a little bit upset that I've missed something. I mean, I know I can't catch everything. And it's really difficult because the amount of releases that come out. There's a lot of independent releases as well. And, you know, you don't hear about all of them. But already there's a couple that I've, I've heard after my polls, if you like. My best albums, best songs that would have fitted into my 2021 poll. This could be another one. So Blue Mountain, um, they bought an album out called Karma Alarm last year, obviously. Uh, this song's called Scars for Life. They're a Swedish band. Now, you've got Hans Berger on vocals. He's ex-Fatal Smile. I'm sure I've heard of that band. Um, interestingly enough, I have heard of the other band. Not that I've heard a lot of their stuff, but a, a band called Angeline. And all the other three members of this band were in Angeline. Joachim Nielsen on guitar, Ulf Nielsen on the bass, and Tobe Jonsson on the drums. And Ulf Nielsen and Tobe Jonsson also did a bit in Lightbringer of Sweden as well. I've covered them. So interesting stuff. So you see the names would interest me. Um, I do get sent a lot of stuff from bands. Sometimes I don't cover it if I listen to it. Or think that, you know, I have a quick listen. If I don't think I'm going to like it, I won't cover it. Because I've told you, know, you guys before... And I tell these bands, if there's, if I feel I don't want to be negative towards any bands, up and coming bands especially, um, because they're trying to make it in a fucking difficult industry. So um, you might not even be listening to this right now. <laughs> I'm wasting my breath because if I don't like this, I won't upload it. If you're watching this now, I love it. <laughs> so there you go. Um, this is Blue Mountain and the song's called Scars for Life. Here we go. Stop it there because we're about halfway through. Man, I fucking love it, man. I really love this. So, I mean, it's got sort of elements of AOR, but it's sort of a bit heavier than that, which I love. I, you know, I love guitar. So, like, you know, this is guitar all over it. And I love the way the clean guitar is being used as well as the electric guitar. You know what? I don't think I'll ever get tired I mean, I've been listening to metal since I was like, rock and metal since I was like, I don't know, eight, maybe. 
eight years old probably, eight, nine. Will I ever get tired of like a, a cool bass line, a, like a clean guitar and vocals, and then an electric guitar coming in over the top of it? It happens thousands of fucking times. Millions. I must have heard that, but I never get tired of it. It's just, I'm expecting it, and every time it makes me smile, it's just, it's so much melody comes out of a clean guitar. As long as it sounds right as well, and it's like melodic, and then coming in with that electric guitar in the second part of the verse. I just, thousands of bands do it, but I never get sick of it. I never do. <laughs> I love this man. It's so catchy. I love the vocalist, and I'll tell you what I love about him. And this reminds me a little bit of, uh, this this song reminds me a little bit of a, a recent project which I'll talk about in a minute that's come out this year but um, the vocalist I'm so glad they've got a vocalist in on this that's got that roughness that rawness that sort of classic rock sort of sound rather than picking someone you know AOR-ish with like smooth vocal he's got a bit of rough to it and I fucking love his vocals man absolutely superb vocalist and the, the project it reminds me of a little bit is the brilliant album city of lights from city of lights that album's excellent also that, that one's out like this year like i said I mean, you've got that really melodic music with a classic rock strong vocalist just like this band man i'm gutted i'm gutted because i miss this this is surely i mean if, if the rest of the album's anything like this this would have been in my top albums of the year. This is a must get. Absolutely superb. Let's listen to the rest now. That's how you write a fucking song. That is how you write a song. Absolutely loved it, man. It's just modern, that modern production on everything I love about, you know, 80s type music. And I know, I'm sorry I said 80s again, but, and there's so many bands now that are bringing out music like this. I should stop saying it, I know. But, you know, that's how a lot of subscribers, I suppose, relate to, you know, you talk 80s when you talk mel melody, don't you? And they just fine-tuned it into a brilliant, modern, 80s-infused track. The guitar solo was fucking brilliant. It was so... sort. It had sort of real sort of beauty to it. The way it sort of flowed, that whole solo. I loved the solo. And when it went back into the verses again, slowed down with that clean guitar again. Man, what a song absolutely loved it just gotta get out the hold of this album now without a doubt hear the whole lot because it's it would have been this song probably would have been in my top tracks maybe the album would have been in my top albums 
Love it. What do you think of this? Blue Mountain Scars for Life. Remember, if you love this, the album is out everywhere. It's called Karma Alarm. Came out last year. Absolutely superb. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.